What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be checking out the Western Digital MyBook. Um, this is the 14 terabyte version. My goal is to shuck the drive and install it into my personal computer. For those of you who don't know what shucking is, myself included, just until last week, all it is is you take out the internal drive out of the enclosure itself and uh, just install it yourself into your own computer or device. Now you might be wondering why would you bother doing that? And the reason being is these drives for some reason are a lot cheaper than just buying the drive itself. For example, one with similar specs was going for around $600 and um, I was able to get this for $320 so almost half the price, which is pretty crazy. Now, the main difference that I found is this drive has a three-year warranty, whereas the OEM drives have a five-year warranty, but it doesn't really seem worth double the price. Although, of course, you have to do the extra steps of shucking the drive itself. But in my opinion, it is worth it. And I did see some tutorials and it doesn't seem too difficult. So I'm kind of going to walk through it with you guys. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I got the drive opened up here. Now, first, I'm just going to grab my laptop and plug it in to make sure everything's working. The program I use is called HD Sentinel, if I said it right. Um, and it basically just scans the drive. I just want to make sure everything's um, up and running properly before I go ahead and tear it open. So I just plugged in the drive. I can hear it spinning up. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the app now. So this is the app that I was referring to. As you can see, it was detected and we got excellent performance and health, which is great. You can also go an extra step further and scan the drive, but I'm gonna bypass that for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the drive opened up. All right, so I got the drive here. Uh, I got some guitar picks as well. And I also have this flathead screwdriver, although I hope I don't have to use it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go at it and uh, let's see what happens. From what I saw, there's three tabs on this side and two on this side. And then you kind of have to pry open the bottom. So I got one pick in, I'm just gonna squeeze it over to the side. All right, so I managed to get the drive out. It wasn't the most difficult thing, although if I were to do it again, it would be a lot easier. Uh, so basically what you have to do is push in on these tabs here with the uh, with the guitar pick. And then on the, on the other side, there's three. So that'll open the top part and then you can just kind of wiggle it around. Now the bottom part is where it was difficult for me. So basically I had to grab a uh, flathead screwdriver and then kind of just push in on the edge here. One side it seemed was easier than the other. So you just kind of have to work around it. And then uh, you just push in the drive and careful for it not to fall. And then you can just kind of slide out the drive. Now, once the drive has been taken out, um, you can actually just flex it and kind of just pop out the uh, the side with the rubber grommets. And then you can use a certain type of uh, screw head and uh, take these out and then you're pretty much good to go. So the drive is the WD140EDFZ. From what I know, this should be the exact same specs as the red drive. It just has a white label. Um, I did see on a couple videos that you actually have to modify um, the SATA plug because what happens is there's a 3.3 volt pin that basically shorts your drive so it won't be able to turn on. And uh, you need to have a specific cable or a specific uh, hard drive enclosure for it to work. I'm not too sure why that's the case. I guess maybe they're trying to avoid people doing this, but I'm going to check it out to see if I have to do that on my personal drive. So I'm going to go ahead and start installing it into the computer and uh, let's check out what happens. So this is the drive that I'm going to be replacing out. It's a uh, WD Red 6 terabyte. Um, I got it up quite a while ago. So it's mounted on the top here. It shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm just going to open it up. So there's four screws located here. Here it is compared to the WD 14 terabyte. All right, and there it is, the drive is all installed. I actually like the white label, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and boot it up. All right, so I just plugged in my PC. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm gonna turn it on right now, so uh, let's see if it works. I don't feel it spinning, it's not good. All right, so it does not look like it works, unfortunately. I have the BIOS on the other screen open and the drive is not detected. So it's probably that three pin, um, sorry, that three volt SATA that I was mentioning earlier. So I'm probably gonna have to take out the drive and block it off somehow. 
So I'm gonna have to do that now. Okay, so the system won't recognize the drive, so it does look like I'm gonna have to remove that third pin. Uh, basically, I won't even feel it spinning up at all. So uh, it sounds like that's the issue. Now you can just tape it, which is what I would recommend, but I'm actually gonna try to remove it with an X-Acto knife. So uh, don't try this, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. So let's see how it goes. All right, so it looks like I got the pin all pried up. So uh, let's try to take it off. All right, so there it is. The pin has been removed. So this is what it looks like now. Okay, so uh, time to put in the system and uh, that should do the trick, but um, it's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Let's check it out. And it worked, so good news. Um, the drive is detected, as you can see here, 14,000 gigabytes. Uh, so that did seem to work, that was the trick. Um, I do recommend taping it though, because what I did were probably avoid your warranty. Uh, so just something to keep in mind, but I'm gonna boot into Windows now and just make sure everything works properly. So I'm in Windows now, and as you can see, it is detected as my book. Uh, because it hasn't been formatted, but there it is, 12.7 terabytes is the actual storage. So this is the drive I was looking at getting and ended up getting the uh, MyBook instead, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same specs, um, although I can't really see in the uh, program. Usually it does say, but it does seem like it's not available in this case, um, but I'm pretty sure it is running the same specs. Uh, but there you have it, as you can see, $621. Uh, this cost basically half that price. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. All right, so there it is, the hard drive shucking is complete. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Would you ever consider doing it for yourself to save a little bit of money? Uh, in my opinion, it is worth it. It wasn't that difficult of a process except for that 3.3 volt pin, uh, but that's not too difficult to take off, although it will probably void your warranty like I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave a like or comment and I'll see you on the next one.